welcome all today in this video i'm going to tell you that how you can send a mail from your gmail account but using your java code at the same time you can attach some files also so in my previous video i have already shown you that without attachment how you can send a mail so let's see that code again okay this was the code so in that code you will see the main thing was there let me make a recap this was the two this was the from and this i have set the properties of my host then i set the uh, connection authentication connection and then this was the main part like i have created a mim message this was the message object and i set every information here like uh, from which mail id you want to set uh, what will be the recipient what will be the subject you have set the subject and you have set the text and in this line you are just sending transport dot send so it send the mail okay so here you will see that i have set everything in my message and i'm sending this message and this will send a mail so let me show you that it is working or not so let me run it this is my mail id so let's check that mail is received here or not yeah now you can say it has sent a mail you can check the mail subject is let's make automation easy and content is text is please subscribe to my channel and click on bell icon so the same thing i have set it here you can see here so this is the thing i have set the message subject mail subject and the mail text okay so now let me delete this thing here so that when i will show you the code for attachment you will find this mail easily here so there is no is uh, there is no mail here okay now let me go ahead. so now when you want to when you want to attach some you don't want to only uh, set some text in your mail here we are setting only text you want to set the text as well as you want to attach the file in that case what you have to do okay so in that case what you have to do is you have to remove this line you don't need to reuse this line because you are not only want to attach some text in your body it actually it actually sets some text in your body of the mail but now in my body of the mail i want to attach two things i want to set some text as well as i want to attach a file so in that case you have to use some different concept okay in that case what you have to do replace this message dot set text and you have to create an object of a class that is called multi part so you will see here you will create an object of a multi part what we will do with the help of multi part you can attach multiple things in your message body so we have to set two things so for setting the first thing for setting the first thing i will create a object of i will create a object of body part so this is the line i will create a object of body part body part message body part one i created this one okay so first what we will do we will create a multi part object and after creating we will create the bo other body parts like we will create first body part in this first body part i will attach the text i will attach the text whatever text you want to set or send in your body you can attach it so i'm just writing it here uh this one message body part one whatever is you have created body part one set text and whatever you want to let me write it here uh, if you want uh, let's make automation easy okay uh, let me write the message here please subscribe let's make automation easy channel and click on l so i've set it this text here okay so one thing is completed i have set one body part this body part i will set it here now i will do one thing this body part body part i will set in my multi part content this is the multi i told you this object will first of all you create a multi part and every every how many body part you want to create just create those part and then attach it in this multi part so for attaching what we will do we will write a code multi part we will write multi part and multi part dot add body part okay so multi part dot add body part and i have just created this body part body part one and set the text here. that body part i set in my multi part object so this is the first thing second for attaching for attaching your you can say the second file you want to attach the file also so in that case you have to create a another body part so i'm creating here just see here i have created another body part 
message body part two. Like I've created here, first part here. Here I've created second body part two. Now what you want to set here? Is text we have already set in my message body part one. Here we are going to set some file. So in that case, first of all, let me show you that which file I, I'm going to attach it. In this my this uh, folder, you can see here there is a file in my PC D drive Pradeep data. There is a file Selenium ID. So I will copy the path of this file here and I will attach this file in my mail. Okay. So how, how I am going to do it? Just here, first of all, you have to create a you have to create a, a string variable. You have to create a string variable. You are going to store the path of that file. So this is the path of my file D data test image and selenium ID. So I've just created a variable and where I'm going to write the path of my file. Now, second thing is that second thing is that you are going to you are going to give the you are whenever you are attaching a file in that case you have to create an object of a data source because it is a data it is a file contains some data so it is a you have to create a data source and what type of data source it is a file data source so this is the you can say line when you want to attach when you want to create a file which you want to attach in your mail so i've created data source and whatever file path you have given you will pass it here so this is you have created data source now you have to do one thing you have to attach both the things like data, whatever data handler you have created and whatever you can say given you have given the file name. These two things combined together will attach the file. So I've created two things in my message body part. This is message body part two. I attach set data handler means what is the data handler? You have created this one source. So I've attached it here. This is the uh, part. In the part two, you are attaching the data handler. And second, you are telling that message body part two set file name. What is the file you have attached? You want to attach, which I've created the path. So after this, what happened that you have created second part. So simply you have to add this part in the multi content. Like with this line, you have set the first body part. Now you have to attach this body part. Simply write this line multi part dot add body part. This is second, which contains the your attached file. So now you can see first body part was which was containing the your text part. Second, you created another body part which contains your your file and you attach both the body part in the multi in the multi part. Multi part attach first body part and multi part dot add body part. Second, now you have attached both the things in multi part. So this multi part contains your everything. Now what you have to do? Everything should be set in the message. So now you have to do whatever you have set in your multi part. Now you have to set this multi part which contains both the things in your in your message so i'm writing a message actually message is the main thing message you can assume it is the mail thing so now you are saying that message dot set content multi part and multi part contains both the things now rest of the things is same that this message is again same thing transport dot send means it this message will send a trigger a mail so now again let me show you that there is no mail here and now let me run it from here Okay, it is taking time. It is taking time. So, so I will get the message sent. Oh, we get the message here. Send message successfully. Now go and check the mail. Wow, you got the mail and you can check it. This is your subject. Let's make automation easy. This is the message content. Please subscribe my channel. Click on bell and this is the image. You can see here. This was the image. This was the image we we have attached in my code. So with, with the help of this code, you can attach any file and you can send to any mail using your Java code. Okay, so same thing you can use for your in your automation framework if you want to send any report. So same code you can use it for that. Okay, so uh, I hope uh, you like the content. You like the way I have explained each and everything, uh, so, so that uh, you can uh, use this code in your uh, in your project uh, for attaching the some file attachments. Okay, so if you like the content of my video, you can subscribe to my channel also. And, and if you want to get notifications about more such valuable videos, please click on the bell icon. Thank you. Have a nice day.